So today what we're doing here at SureStep is we're spending time in our green room and we are hosting a number of guests for an ongoing trial that shows a comparison between the Takeo brace and a standard cam style boot. I wasn't expecting that big of an impact with the walking boot. It completely changed the way I had to walk and I could feel it in my lower back in, in, a, in a not so good way. Going from that to the Takeo was, was eye-opening. I definitely think I could continue just a, my normal lifestyle with a Takeo brace, you know, go out and camp and hike and, you know, even just walk around the city um, where a boot would really impede doing any of those things. The more old-fashioned boot, if you will, limited my mobility just because it was a hassle. You know, it was big and weighty and cumbersome. In the time that I just used the Takeo brace, I felt like my gait was better, I walked more naturally, and you have the comfort of your own shoe. I could see my, walking my dog longer distances with the Takeo brace because it fit better and it's not so high up on your calf. It was actually almost a comforting feeling because it provided so much stability. You know, the walking boot was much clunkier. It made me feel like I was kind of tilted and I kind of tripped over myself a couple times. To me, that seems like old technology, and with the Takeo Brace, it was a flawless walk. It felt totally natural, and even gave me more support than uh, the walking boot did. You pretty much are walking exactly how you do without a brace on at all. It's been some time since we had the patients in for the Takeo gait study, and we've been able to extract and disseminate the data into some pretty interesting feedback. So Takeo, we found, outperformed the CAM boot in all categories conducted in this study. And the three main categories that Takeo glaringly had positive results compared to the CAM boot were basis support, step length, and ground contact percentage. The first metric that I'd like to discuss is basis support. Basis support being the distance from the center of one football to the center of a successive football. Now this is important because basis support can be indicative of many things, including stability. And when we look at this value in the feedback that we gathered from the study, we found that in the CAM boot condition, this value increased much more significantly when the patient was wearing the CAM boot. So this, from our perspective, looks like the patient is seeking greater stability by broadening their basis support. I think the big takeaway from this is that in the CAM boot, patients are experiencing greater instability. And when wearing the Takeo external AFO, it's not the case. They're feeling much more comfortable. The second parameter that I'd like to discuss is step length. Step length is what we measure as the distance from the center of one heel strike to the center of the next successive heel strike. What we found in the step length condition is that while wearing the CAM boot, patient step length decreased bilaterally. Conversely, in the Takeo external AFO, we found that there were no significant changes to step length. This is noteworthy because a decrease in step length is often indicative of a lack of stability. Also noteworthy because the patient is having to expend usually more energy than typical for the same result. So the third metric that I'd like to discuss is heel on to toe on percentage. This is a percentage of overall stance time from when the heel strikes to forefoot loading. What we found is the percentage from heel on to toe on was much longer in the cam boot condition than in the Takeo condition. This is significant because this timing affects the chain reaction forces from the knee, the hip, all the way up into the back. The big takeaway from this is that while in the cam boot, you could experience far more negative effects at the knee, the hip, and the back than you would in the Takeo. What we learned is that the Takeo relative to the cam boot provides greater stability, less energy expenditure for the patient, and a reduced risk of proximal injury.